Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so uh, in this cute little video, I'm going to teach you how to find eigenvalues. Specifically, I'm going to provide you a 2x2 two two example and a 3x3 three three example. Now, when we want to find eigenvalues, we use this equation here. In uh, the previous video, I referred to this equation as the eigenvalue formula. As a matter of fact, in the previous video, which is our second video on eigenvalues and eigenvectors, I showed you where this equation or where this eigenvalue formula comes from. In other words, I showed you how to derive it. But here in this video, I'm just going to give you uh, examples of how to use it to find eigenvalues. Let's start with a 2x2 two two example. And so uh, let's start with this matrix A. And um, yeah, see that the first thing we should do in trying to find the eigenvalues associated to this matrix is, uh, well, figure out what this is and therefore start with what's inside the parentheses. So uh, A minus lambda times I sub N, what does that look like in this case? Well, A is this matrix, lambda is a scalar, and remember the lambdas are the eigenvalues, and so that's what we're after. And I sub n is the n by n identity, and since a here is a 2 by 2, I sub n is a 2 by 2 identity, right? So adopting this here to our specific case here would mean that we write this, right? Now, a is a matrix, lambda is a scalar, I sub 2, the 2 by 2 identity is a matrix, so this is just 2 by 2 matrix subtraction and scalar multiplication in this part. Yeah, so uh, in other words, we know everything that we need to move forward. A is right here, uh, lambda the scalar is right here, the minus sign is this minus sign, and this is the 2 by 2 identity. And so we do scalar multiplication of matrices. I have plenty of videos on matrices, including scalar multiplication determinants and lots more, uh, some proofs involved. And so check them out. Uh, but yeah, like this is fairly straightforward. Multiply each of these entries by lambda and do the matrix subtraction. And if you do it correctly, you should write this right here. Yes, yes, I know. Matrices have square brackets, but these brackets look nicer, so I'm going with it. <laughs> okay, now, uh, so I'm saying A minus lambda times I sub 2 looks like this. And so this here is this here. So what we need to do is find the determinant of this here and set it equal to 0. All right, so as I said, watch my videos on uh, matrices, uh, on determinants, and lots more. But yeah, 2 by 2 determinants are pretty straightforward. You do this times this minus this times this, and therefore we get this here for the determinant of this, which is uh, that fella, right? And of course, we set it equal to 0. And when we do, remember, uh, this here is just 1 minus lambda all squared, and the 4 we can move to the other side, and taking the square root on both sides here, uh, remembering to write plus or minus on the right hand side we see that from this we gather uh, that this follows okay cool so then uh, bringing this plus or minus 2 to the left and the lambda to the right uh, will mean that we're pretty much done solving for our lambda uh, so when the plus or minus 2 comes to the left it becomes minus plus 2 right so it's 1 minus plus 2 and lambdas on the right hand side and therefore positive now and so the two lambdas and therefore the two eigenvalues are 1 minus 2 and 1 plus 2 therefore negative 1 and 3 yeah okay cool that concludes uh, example a our 2 by 2 example so let's quickly move on to our 3 by 3 example so this goes much the same way this is our 3 by 3 matrix uh, whose eigenvalues we're after so as I said, uh, it goes uh, much the same way, but this time we want this here. Okay, so all that's different is that our matrix A is now called B, and I sub N is now the 3 by 3 identity, right? And just as we did before, we're going to start by figuring out what this looks like. Okay, cool. So that looks like um, this here in this case, right? And this is the 3 by 3 identity. Uh, this is B. This is lambda. Uh, I'd be repeating myself uh, too much if I said any more. And so then we see that this here is this matrix. All that's left to do is to find the determinant of this 3 by 3. Again, I have lots of videos on determinants, so I'm not going to talk about how to find the determinant of this 3 by 3. But if you do it correctly, you should find that uh, it is equal to this here. Uh, yeah, this cubic, a cubic and lambda. And so we're going to be able to find three distinct eigenvalues from this. And they're pretty obvious as soon as we set it equal to 0, this determinant, right? OK. Uh, and the three eigenvalues are uh, 1, uh, 2, and 3. <laughs> okay. All right. That's it. Uh, and lots more videos to come on eigenvalues, eigenvectors, and linear algebra in general. I hope you enjoyed this and keep watching. Take care.